A few weeks ago, I had a whole week full of vegetarian delights and this was my favourite meal. It's a play on chicken satay, but instead of chicken, I used tofu. Now, this is firm tofu and it works really well with this. And instead of using rice, I know I'm changing, I served it with cauliflower rice and I actually loved it. I surprised myself. So let's make our cauliflower rice first. It's really, really nice with this style of dish. I've got a pan that's just on a medium heat. Into that, I'll add a good splash of extra virgin olive oil. And I want to start frying off some onion and ginger. So finely chop an onion and into that I'll add some ginger that I've also finely chopped. And just to control the cooking of that, we'll just add some salt. It's also going to bring out some of the moisture. So we can add it at the beginning, give it a bit of a toss and just let that sweat. Now while that's sautéing, let's get onto the cauliflower. You'll need a food processor for this or you can do this by hand, but you just need to chop it really finely. I'm just going to use half of this cauliflower. You can see how beautiful this cauliflower is. And you can tell it's a really good quality one because the florets are quite firm. A lot of recipes will call for you to take off all of the leaves but there's so much flavour in the leaves, so leave it on. And I'm just going to roughly chop it just into smaller bite-sized pieces. It's just going to help the food processor evenly chop this. I've placed a blade into my food processor and in with our cauliflower, breaking it up so roughly everything's the same size. So you've got to think of this as rice. We want the shape of rice, so I'm just going to pulse this until everything is a uniform shape. And just like that, we have cauliflower rice. Look at the texture of that. It's not only good for you, but it just tastes so good, particularly with the ginger and onion. So let's pop this into the saute pan with our onions and ginger. And because it is so fine, you just want to flash fry it just for it to soften slightly. I still want some texture there. So just with our spoon, we're going to give that a stir and I think we can add a little more salt here just to season the cauliflower. And that's how easy it is to make cauliflower rice. Right, while this rice takes a few more minutes, let's get onto a really quick satay sauce. Into a pot, I'm going to add some peanut butter. You can actually do this the traditional way, which has lots of ingredients, including fresh peanuts that have been toasted and blended. You know what, peanut butter just works so well. You could use smooth or crunchy, depending on your preference. I'm using smooth for a change. And I'll add some fish sauce, a splash of fish sauce. We can always taste it at the end to balance it all out. Some soy sauce for some saltiness. And we'll just add a splash. And for some sweetness, just a touch of honey. You could also use sugar for this. For some acidity, good old lime. I love lime with this. And we'll just reserve the other half to garnish later on. And we'll just squeeze that straight into the pot. Okay. A few more little things. One clove of garlic I'll bruise and just roughly chop. And if you've got some lemongrass, use it. I just love it in a satay sauce. So I'm just going to use a fine grater. I find this the easiest way. Just so we don't get big chunks of it in this recipe. We just want it to be super fine. And you want about a teaspoon. And as you grate it on the fine grate, it almost looks like snow as it goes in. And because we're finely grating it, we're going to get a nice, strong flavour of the lemongrass. Smells good. OK, this goes onto the stove just on a medium heat and essentially we're just warming up all of these ingredients. We're allowing that peanut butter to melt into that and you will notice it's going to be quite thick but as it starts to melt and warm up, I've just got some water here and we'll add some water. We want the consistency of thickened cream. Now, while that's warming up, onto our tofu. Now, back in the days, I would resist eating tofu, but these days I just love it. I think it's a great substitute for meat. And if you just spice it up with satay sauces like this, it does work. So firm tofu, I have dried it. You could put this onto skewers if you like to really emulate a satay, or I'm just going to cut it into long strips. So we'll cut it in half first, and then we'll cut it in half again. So almost think of this as tofu steaks.
<laughs> so now I'm just going to just put them onto my board and I will add a splash of olive oil. And we'll just make sure that all sides are coated. A nice thin film of oil and then onto the grill. Good sizzle there. I want char marks, you know, let's face it, tofu doesn't have a lot of flavour, so you need to give it a lot of love. So the oil there, the char grill marks, you're going to add some salt, and then with this sauce, it'll be just perfect. So a pinch of salt. And we're just going to give this a few minutes to char on both sides. This sauce is almost done, and we can bring it home. Tofu has warmed through. We've got the beautiful char marks and I'm just going to place it straight onto this plate. I just love the look of this. And I like to serve it with those classic accompaniments, so some onion. And with the onion, you just want to cut into large chunks and then we'll just pop that on the side just next to a char grilled tofu. So the whole idea is just to pick up some of the tofu, the onion, also some cucumber for some freshness. And again, we can just cut that into half moons or big chunks. Onto the side. And I love the freshness of mint. So again, this is sort of putting a platter together so you take it to the table so everyone can just help themselves with what they like. And I love mint, so that can go in the centre. This satay sauce is ready, it's smooth and it's the right consistency, so it does take quite a lot of water. We'll place this in here. Oh, look at that. Love that. And this newfound love of mine, which is some cauliflower rice. See how it's still holding its texture? That's because we haven't overcooked it. We'll place a generous amount of that into a bowl on the side and pile it up. And that looks pretty impressive. Now, I think sometimes we need this healthy inspiration. Have a little break from meat and why not try tofu? Particularly if you put it with a delicious satay sauce like this, you will love it just as much as I do.